Hi everyone, this is John Michael for a new episode of Insect Discovery. And right now, we're looking at my leaf-footed bug. But guess what? I have a new one. So now I have two leaf-footed bugs. Um, they are true bugs. They are not just uh, bugs. Like A lot of people call all the insect bugs. But um, this isn't true. Uh, this insect right here, this is a true bug. And I don't know if you are able, sorry, able to see it, but um, is, oops, is not his front leg, but his uh, left leg. He kind of have like a really leaf-looking uh, leg, or just appendix that really look a, l a little bit like a leaf. Um, if I can zoom on him, like you see, a really like this part right here I don't know if you understand but yeah this is why we call them leaf footed bug and DTK figure out uh, the identification but really the name is pretty hard to say uh, the Latin name but um, well the the first name is really hard but the other name is terminalis and this makes sense since uh, it is in allusion to the orange uh, segment of the anten antenna. And for the, uh, this type of insect, there is four segments to the antenna, and the last one is orange. Um, with the link that DVK uh, gave me, and also from my uh, own research, I figure out that they are not uh, carnivorous, they are actually herbivorous, so vegetarian in other words. Um, I was kind of expecting that, but in the meantime they, they were kind of looking like uh, assassin's bug. And assassin bugs are also true bugs, but they are carnivorous. Um, but yeah, right now I don't really see them eat uh, any of the plants. Uh, what they will do is uh, just uh, stick their mouth in the leaf and suck uh, since their mouth really just like look like a, str uh, a straw I guess uh, you call them and they just it's just like a long tube or like a mosquito you know the mouth of a mosquito they just uh, stab the plant and then suck all the fluids out of it also um, I don't know if you can see it but the the little dot. I believe it is an egg. And there is few of them in the uh, tank, like one on the leaf right here. Um, where are the others? Uh, there is another one on the leaf right there. Um, another one right here, if I can zoom. Yeah, that little thing. And yeah, there is there was another one, but I don't know where it is right now. And I don't know if it's the leaf-footed bug that uh, plant them, or if there is another insect in there that have laid some eggs. But anyway, I have also another uh, type of true bug. Um, those, if I can zoom on in, those one, I'm really more use of it. Ah, uh, oh, damn. I was like, this is the problem when I film insect. Uh, my cell phone really have a hard time zooming. Oh, there we go, perfect zoom. So this type of bug right here, I'm really more used to it. Um, but the leaf-footed bugs, whoa. Um, I never saw that type of bugs, but I did some research and DPK also uh, helped me with a link. and. Apparently they are um, all over United States and also in Ontario and since I'm really close to Ontario I can figure out that uh, it isn't an invasive species so I'm, I don't have to worry too much about them uh, destroying my ecosystem. Um, but yeah, it was the first time uh, this summer I saw some uh, leaf-footed insect like uh, those guys and I saw a third one uh, yesterday, but I wasn't able to catch that one. 
but yeah, it's kind of funny that um, I never see them in 20 years of existence and all in a sudden I have seen three in a matter of days. Um, so yeah, two type of um, bugs. Oh, whoops. Almost dropped the cell phone. Two types of bugs and I really like that. I really like uh, the jungle vivarium being their home for some bugs. So, I mean, I, there is definitely more type of bugs uh, that I can catch. So, let me know if you want the uh, jungle vivarium to be specifically for bugs or for just uh, vegetarians and such. Also, I just want to point out uh, if I can zoom on it. Uh, that big red uh, pink thing, oh man, it doesn't want to zoom. Yeah, that, that big thing is one of the worm that were in the, if I can do zoom on this, in their uh, container when I, when I was uh, fishing. And I brought them back home and I put some of them uh, in there, but most of them in the, uh, that leaf uh, vivarium and since as you can see the floor of the jungle vivarium is still really flooded uh, I often see the really big worms uh, coming out but they're not drawing and drowning sorry uh, oh there is one uh, right here that is uh, digging his way out of the earth if I can zoom on it. Oh, sorry, there is a lot of reflection also. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? It's like coming out and moving. Oh man, I wish I didn't add so much ref uh, reflection on the, gra uh, on the glass, sorry. Um, but yeah, that was an update on the um, jungle vivarium and Today I went to uh, do a little bit of exploration in the forest and there is some baby grasshoppers. So let me know if, I, if you want to catch uh, me to catch some of them and put them in there. That could be really, really interesting. Um, since I don't see the leaf-footed bug uh, eat any of the plants right now, I'm going to um, add some fruits to the mix. So because a lot of you uh, that comment on the videos about the leaf-footed leaf bugs. Uh, you said that they either eat tomatoes or uh, some kinds of fruits and everything. And it made perfect sense. So I could just put some um, slice of apple or something in there. And I'm pretty sure they will enjoy it. But seeing some eggs is pretty interesting. I really wonder what the uh, eggs will hatch and look like. Is it the leaf-footed uh, bugs sorry, that um, lay their eggs or other insect in there? Let me know. Um, it could... Well, I really think it could only be the leaf-footed leaf bug. Um, but it could be the other bug we just saw uh, a few seconds ago or the uh, firefly but those eggs really look kind of big for a firefly so maybe it is actually the leaf-footed bugs anyway thanks for watching and i will see you real soon